This is me again. Today I will show you how I scan my patient for upper extremity arterial duplex study. I'm going to start with the highest frequency probe with 15 megahertz because our volunteer today he have a good anatomy. First, for the upper arterial study, I will start by scanning the axillary artery. So I reduce the frequency until I have a good penetration. So I'll make it 10. Here at the axilla, now I'll try to locate the axillary artery. I think now I'm over it. As we can see on the screen, we have here the axillary artery, which is pulsatile. I will scan it on the sagittal plane. Oh, we have a nice lumen. A nice wall then I, I will add the color box I will increase the gain and reduce the scale until we have a good feeling so now I think we have a good feeling but we have some noise or reduce the gain and i will increase the scale i think now we have a good laminar flow for the auxiliary artery now i'll check the pulse wave we have a nice triphasic waveform for the right axillary artery with the big systolic velocity 57 after that at the arm i will follow the brachial artery if i follow it on the transverse view here we have brachial artery now i'll start to take it at the upper arm with the sagittal blend then with color now I will add the color I have a good laminar flow and after that I will take the pulse wave to document the velocity of the vessel and I will keep to follow it at the mid of the arm yes I will reduce the TGC until I have a good lumen and I reduce the gain also. Now I follow it at the mid of the R. We have a nice lumen, nice wall, no serious colorectal change. And when we apply the color, we have a good laminar flow. Yes, I increase the scale and decrease the gain. I'll try to get the best image. I'll stay box also. Here we have a nice, good color filling. We have a laminar flow. Now I will take a sample for the velocity. I will try to be better as I could to the visual wall. I will put the sample gate at the middle of the vessel and I will reduce the size of the sample gate because at the middle of the vessel we have the highest velocity that we could have. We have a nice waveform for the right brachial artery with the big systolic velocity 72. I will follow 
the brachial artery at the cubital fossa here the artery divided to two one it will move superficial and the other one it will pass deep the one which it will pass deep it will turn to be the ulnar artery and the one it will move superficial it will be the radial artery we can see that again with the color here we have the brachial artery at the cubital fossa now it will divide to the two artery now we will have the radial artery and the one which it will go deep it will be the ulnar artery I will follow the radial artery at the upper forearm as we can see here and at the mid forearm and I will follow it distal at the lower forearm I will take it in sagittal plane at the lower forearm then I will apply the color box and we have a good feeling then we'll get the pulse wave without color I will steer until umbilar to the visual wall we have a nice waveform for the right radial artery with the big systolic velocity reach up to almost 70 I will back again to follow the ulnar artery as I left it here also I can follow it from the distal part when I put the prop we have here this structure I will try to compress it's not compressible so it means that the ulnar artery so now I will take it in the sagittal plane here we have a good color feeling then I will take a pulse wave over it I'm sure with the pulse wave come over the ulnar artery and our big systolic velocity it was also almost 70 I will keep following it this vessel it is tiny vessel and to keep change the orientation so maybe you will start to lost it you have to back again and follow from area where you do stop we'll follow it at the upper and mid and lower you have to take velocity for each vessel at the upper and mid and lower for the arm for the brachial artery also you have to document it at the upper mid and lower arm and you have to take velocity for the axillary artery so that all of it for today and thanks for watching us for more video you can follow us on the following account